Hey YouTube, it's Steve here, and today I'm going to show you how to update the Asus FoamPad 7 KL12 FE170 CG into the latest Android 5.0 Lollipop, or specifically the built 12.8.1.38. So, so the first thing you need is this computer, which is running Windows. Um, you need a computer running Windows. Of course, you need a Asus ThinkPad 7, which I'm having right here. Now, on this tablet, you must have Android 4.4.2 in order to update because Android 4.3 will not work. And you have, if you are running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean inside the Asus ThinkPad 7, I am going to. You must. Uh, update to Android 4.4 KitKat and using the different method and you need to apply this tutorial using this video. So the first thing, the next thing you need is a USB, um, micro USB to plug in your device. Uh, as well as on your device, you need to unlock your device. Uh, you need to go to settings, go to about, software information, and you need to you need to click on the build number several times, uh, about ten times, until you see uh, the um, notification said that you are now a developer, and then you go back and you will see a. Um, option called a developer options and you need to click on that of course well and you need to enable USB debugging you need to turn this thing on enable in order to make uh, this computer uh, recognize this tablet uh, in the in the uh, fast boot mode so let's get back the next thing you need on your computer is the recovery uh, recovery file, uh, which uh, you can find in the description below, uh, it, which is a recovery right here, as you can see. And you need to extract the uh, recovery into the recovery folder right here. And you don't need ADB for this, you don't need ADB. You need recovery only. Uh, so the last warning I want to talk is this: use this as your own risk. Uh, this thing, if you don't follow uh, correctly, you can be your device can be brick and uh, mostly unusable. So make sure you follow all the steps correctly in this video. I will try to explain as 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 clearly as possible uh, to give you guys the best tutorial ever. So the next thing you need is go to the um, Web, the browser, and you need to go to your ASUS um, website, ASUS.com, and click on product, tablet, click on the phone pad, and click on the phone pad, which is uh, the uh, FE170CG. Or you can click search here and type in FE170CG and you will have an option of ASUS for Pad 7. Click on that and then click on and then click on support. And click on driver and tools and then click the OS and click Android firmware and you need to download the latest build of Android 5.0 now one warning here this is going to be really important uh, or if you do not follow it you will fail so go to your device again Go to settings, go to about, 
software information and look at the first uh, look at the two characters here you can see that is WW as you can see after the LRX21B po point you can see the uh, you can see the uh, WWC that work why what you need to do is download the firmware that is the most suitable uh, for this device so which means that you must download the firmware that has the SKU, the first two uh, characters, the same as this tablet. So if you're only a worldwide uh, one, you can see WW, we need to download a firmware that says uh, the first two letters is WW. So if your device has CN, you need to download the firmware that has the first two letters CN, of course, or TW or TR. So Download it, post it on the global uh, one. Right. And you download it. And once you have got a download, uh, you will need to do, you have the um, uh, firmware ready. So, what you need to do is you need to copy it into your SD card. So what you need to do is you need a USB to a micro USB. Of course you find it in every uh, single Android device. And you need to um, plug and connect this, this computer into um, this tablet by just do like this. Okay, the next thing is you need to right click on the firmware and click cut. And you need to go to the KL1 to your tablet. Of course, you say that the folder is empty, but if you unlock it, it will appear. So, you will have the SD card, click on the SD card. And you need to uh, right click and click paste okay so because I have already paste here and I name it update.zip you can see so I'm not going to do that you need to do it uh, because it's necessary okay next thing is you need to power off your device put by putting your device into the uh, into the uh, fast boot mode Click on the power off and click OK to shut down shut down this uh, device. Okay, so the next uh, step is you need to put your device. Uh, If you connect your device uh, when you power up, it will uh, appear this, the uh, charging stuff, I don't know. So, the next one is you need to uh, boot your device into recovery, into the fast boot mode, by simply uh, hold on the power button and the volume up button at the same freaking time. So, just click on that, just press the power button and volume up button, and you drive the response. In my case, I already upgraded to Android 5.0, uh, so um, I just show you. So this is the main window of Droid Boot, as you can see. So if you're having a different window, um, you, you would not have. But when I get to my Droid Boot at my experience, I see that I have same, I have a different screen. So the thing that I have done is I go to start CMD and say fast boot flash fast boot fast boot uh, IMG and it has changed to this uh, basic window you can see it says 11.2.3.3 which is uh, Android 4.4 KitKat 4.2 okay the next thing now you can actually plug in your device
and your device will respawn, your, your computer will respawn. The next one is uh, go to recovery thing, recovery, recovery folder right here and click launcher.bat. And you need to type in accept in all case, all capital. And you will see uh, the device status is uh, fast boot online. The device information is uh, thing fast boot, and there are T1, T2, T3, and D. Now type in T2. T2 down here and enter. And your device, you have some couple of response here. And you, there are some white line going on in the uh, phone path. So it's progress running. On the window, you can see that it says uh, fail, uh, status read, thing like that, but it's, it's not failed. And you will be in this folders. So follow me directly. There are the hard, we have the volume button and the power button. The volume button is to uh, navigate through the things, and the power button is to choose. So, what you do is you need to. Can you see it root? Okay, the next the one is you need to use your volume buttons to navigate, and you need to go to install zip, choose with your power button, and click and navigate to choose zip from external SD card. And you need to uh, go to well, but before we do that, you must wipe the data first. So this is going to be uh, uh, wiping all your data. So make sure you back up your data. Okay, you make sure you must back up your Google account. Any method you can do to back up. Go back and go to um, wipe data fact. No, uh, go to mounts and storage. And you need to go down to format data, and you need to go that and format data yourself. I, I don't click on format data and post say yes format, and you need to choose that and it will format for you. In my case, I want to do, I don't want to do this process. Um, I am running Android 5.0 already, so I'm not, I'm going to skip go back. But you need to go to yes click on yes format and choose that. And then go back, uh, go to install zip and choose zip from external SD card. And you need to go to the uh, choose the firmware that you have um, copy into your SD card on that. And then click on yes install update.zip and it will have some installation and uh, you it, it will take about 15 to 20 minutes um, but uh, it's going to be pretty fast so um, because I have already done all these things so I'm not going to go through that but, and you all already know all the process things like on the routing so once you have done these uh, installation you can actually click on reboot system now as you can see uh, you see it see the reboot system now and click on that and click on yes fix root and you will be prompt to restart and uh, it will do all this thing like that and so uh, after you uh, have uh, installed the Android 5.0 you uh, boot it up and it will uh, go to the hello screen which is like uh, one where you purchase your uh, purchase your tablet and uh, so you were able to, you just set up a couple of things and you rule your device like on the video I showed you uh, years ago and uh, so you will have a completely functional machine with Android uh, 5.0 installed so thanks for watching this video and hope you like this video a lot and um, it's not boot loop okay and uh, so I'm gonna wait this machine until it restarts
Okay, so this is uh, my booting things. And so, um, this is where I finally boot it. And after you set some hello, some setup, some things like that, you will have a completely functional uh, ESUS 457 running Android 5.0 Lollipop latest build 12.1.8.1.38. 12 okay, so thanks for watching the video, the whole process you need to do, and it's going to take uh, 15 to 20 minutes, um, but uh, do not panic or you will uh, be misunderstood and you might end up making your device completely brick and you might have some very hard time figuring out how to unbreak it and uh, sort of be huge problems. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like and comment below and as well as subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.